Good morning, folks. As we watch a gorgeous plasma filament display on the northeastern limb of our star, we come to a day of interesting, abnormal, and connection. We'll hit weather, solar physics, new electric matter phase, dwarf star super flares, and the circumgalactic medium. We're starting with our star at spaceweathernews.com, and we find much of the same polar confined coronal holes, tiny patchy darker spots in the central regions, and note that in 193 angstroms here you cannot see those plasma filaments top left that we saw in the opening. Different views for different phenomena. The solar wind peaked right about the time we spoke yesterday. Plateau and waning back of the intensified stream leaves Earth's magnetic field back to all quiet this morning. When it comes to weather, we've got more extremes, sometimes in the same city, record heat and snow in the same day. Meanwhile, the first half of that is missing in Colorado. Seriously, the state is frustrating to live in. And for those enjoying the heat this winter in the east, well, come join the party. Let's jump right back to the sun for an awesome chain reaction eruptive sequence that occurred in 2015. These are also called sympathetic eruptions. Now you're going to have to watch for both filament eruptions here. One rope snaps away and then another just to the south of the first one. Here once again, it's about which view you use to watch the sun. Because beneath erupting filaments is a fiery, expanding, bright region called a solar tsunami. Hopefully you can see that surface brightness upon the eruption of the filaments, and when the first one goes, its plasma tsunami crashes into the filament to the south and sends it off on its release. One more time here, excellent catch by this team, even if it is five years later. Folks, this next one has implication from technology to cosmology. By using ballistic conductors and a thin channel, they can make electrons travel together in a line without scattering. But they are also noticing that those electrons tend to bunch up in groups. They say the electrons are somehow attracting one another, and along their differing speeds and specific channels, they see specific patterns to the groupings. And believe it or not, it matches the second diagonal in Pascal's triangle. In fact, they tried and tried and couldn't break that correlation. There's something magic going on here. Pascal ballistic conductors. New phase of matter. Entirely electric. Up next, just a fun drop-in here for a paper on trying to fight tornadoes with weather balloons, using them to block and disrupt the circulation and convection. Certainly is an interesting idea. Paper linked below. But now we're out to deep space in the study of L-class brown dwarfs, where they're seeing considerable stellar flares as they have seen before. But now they are beginning to think a fundamental difference between those smaller stars and others is no matter what, their energy release is in that massive flare form. This is something we had suggested might be possible in our catastrophe series follow-up for why smaller dwarf stars seem to just have super flares instead of micronova. And for those who recall that episode, this paper's got to feel pretty good. And last but not least, folks, this is NGC 5908, a gorgeous edge-on galaxy, and while you can see it's got a bright halo around it, extending far past where the stars end. Let's go ahead and stack some X-ray returns on top of that, and remember that the circumgalactic medium is vastly larger than they imagined. We saw this in the galactic rotation video a few days ago. This paper here is a nice roadmap for further discoveries that will end up challenging dark matter halo hypotheses. Folks, we've got a Plasma Cosmology follow-up series episode coming tonight. Right below the video here on YouTube, please find the original full film, the explanation video for why this science matters for everything else in the community, and a video on that galactic rotation problem in case you missed it from about a week ago. Check them out in preparation as the series continues tonight. We greatly appreciate your support. We've got wind map forecasts and shots of our star to close, and of course, we'll do this all again tomorrow. Right here, but right now, it's 4.20 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.